the ultimate goal is to do a landscape that has a passion to it. It touches something in your heart. My name's Mike Dennering, and I'm a scenic artist, a sign writer, and a set painter. I've done almost over 200 feature films. I started way back in the early 80s. I always could draw, I always wanted to paint. Worked in advertising for about, oh, five or six years. So then somebody walked in and they had this beautiful calendar of these beautiful clouds. Well, I found out that they were done at the Paramount lot on the big wall that they had in front of their tank where they did a lot of battle scenes for the early World War II movies. So I said, I, I wanna do that. Die Hard was a Fox movie. That was a, a very large job for us. When he came flying into the glass uh, with the hose, that whole background was actually a painted cityscape. We had lights on it with tracers, so it looked like cars were going by. So it fooled the eye. It was about 500 feet worth of material, 500 feet long uh, cyclorama. What happens when you get to be a certain experience level, you see things in three dimensions. And it got to a point where all of a sudden, bam, it clicked. I can sit there with a paint and I'll create it on something and it'll pop right off of there where you can almost pick it up and eat it. People ask me, oh, well, how do you paint a tree? You go out there and you touch the tree. You go out there and see how it grows so that you can use all that in your head. But then I did films that were fantasy films, things like Lemony Snicket. We were doing huge backdrops. They were 350 feet long, one piece. Now what the heck do you do with that? I always tell everybody, you just start from the beginning and you work till you're done. <laughs> they had this one shot called Lake Lacrimose where he's sitting on a harbor and we painted this really beautiful sunset. And then they filled the tank full of water. So it looked like you were standing over the lake, looking in the distance forever. Where would you go on location for that? And hope to God that there was a sunset someplace that just popped up and you got lucky that day. So we would make that for them. Nothing lasts forever. A lot of uh, the artists that uh, I used to work with, they have all retired or they've moved on to other things. You can't make a living at it consider myself very lucky to have had a career and uh, been able to survive that long. <laughs>